Hey guys, for this tutorial I'm going to be showing you the makeup part of this Halloween look. First off, you're going to need to pull back all your hair so it does not get in your way. I'm going to be using a jumbo eyeliner pencil because it's easy to apply on my face. You can use anything, I just chose this works better for me. You're going to take your mask and hold it up to your face so you can outline it with the pencil you chose. On this part I had to use a mirror so I wouldn't mess up so please excuse all the bad camera angles. In this next step you're going to need paper towels and a glue stick. You're going to use the glue stick to glue the outline that you drew and you're going to tear pieces of paper towels and also apply that to the glue. Do this for the whole outline of the pencil drawing you made. After you're done you're going to look like this and you're going to take some liquid latex and put it on a q-tip or your finger and soak the paper towels all in that. After applying the latex, you're going to use a foundation powder or translucent powder to um, kind of blend the paper towel into your skin. And then I'm taking this black face paint and filling in all my skin, but make sure not to get around your eyes. Here's some helpful advice. I use the back of my paintbrush to lift up some of the flaps around my skin so I can paint inside of it. After you're done painting on the black, I'm taking this bloody paint and I'm going to be painting over some of the black to make it look like it literally got ripped off my face. After you're done with the blood paint, you can already go ahead and paint the skin tears around your face. And then you can apply liquid latex and then I used a q-tip to pull some of the skin out so it actually looks real. After you're satisfied with the way it turned out, you can add some fake blood dripping down to your cheekbones to your chin. I'll show you how that looks. And here's your finished look. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully it turns out amazing for you. Bye! If you want to know how I made the mask, just click on the picture you see now.